Hello everybody, my name is Alfred. I am a virtual YouTuber who makes tutorial videos and live streams on my channel. And today I will be making another tutorial video. Today's tutorial video will be on how do you use your 2D or 3D model as your camera. So if you guys know when you go into Zoom, when you go to Google Meet or maybe even Discord, and you turn on your video cam and what you want to do is basically to show your 2D and 3D model. This way you don't have to show your real face. And how do you do that? That's the question I will be answering today. So first of all, all you got to do is to download OBS and if you have not downloaded OBS, make sure to download OBS. If you are using Streamlabs, I will also highly recommend you to change it to OBS because the next step requires OBS. So what I have here is actually a website, a forum website by OBS and it is called OBS Virtual Camp. The link to this website will be in the description down below and all you got to do is to get into this website and simply just click go to download once you have downloaded this app all you gotta do is to click it and open it and once you open it automatically it will be inputted into your obs so you just close your obs come back in and you will realize that you have a new button it's basically an input and this, what this input does is that it basically helps to share screen your OBS screen into the camera. So it sounds complicated, but let me demonstrate it to you. So for this demonstration, I am going to use my personal Discord. You can use it on Zoom, Google Meet, anything is fine. The only main thing you need to worry about is your settings. So let me show you. So first of all, go to user settings. Go to voice and video or video settings depending on the app that you're going to use. And what you want to do is to select a camera. So if I change it to HP True Vision HD, this will be my main camera where it shows my real face. And if I change it to OBS camera, what it does is that it basically uses the virtual cam that you downloaded. And as I said, the virtual cam basically casts whatever is uh, inside the OBS. So personally for me, I use the OBS virtual camera. You can use any of it as long as it works for you, then it will be good to go. So the idea is OBS virtual camera right here. So you close it and this part is something you need to take note because if you go to turn on camera right now, it'll be showing a screen like this. And do note that the screen that it shows will be mirrored. So you got to flip it back and you can do that inside of OBS as well. So let's go to OBS. So due to the fact that I am unable to capture my OBS screen, I will be using another device of mine to show you what's on my OBS screen. So the main thing after you download the virtual camera that I put in the link, uh, put in the description, you will realize that you have something called start virtual camera. So what you got to do is basically just click start virtual camera and it will be like this and that's all all you got to do is do this it'll be done and then at this point is where you can go to your discord and you will realize that it is working so if you come here you can see that my model is perfectly fine i am moving but the problem is it is inverted and how do we invert it back here's what we do so depending on what you have here because it's inverted you can flip it horizontally so you right click on any of the sources and you manually go to transform go down flip horizontal
There you go. So now, if I put it right here, and if we look back in our Discord, it will be to the way we want. Ta-da! It's fixed. That's how it works. I'm not too sure why it is in the first place mirrored, but hey, we are able to fix it and that's more important. So we finally got it. So I hope this tutorial video helps you guys. If it does, make sure to give it a like and do share it with your friends. And in the future, I will be posting more tutorial content like this. And if you enjoy such content, make sure to subscribe for more. And lastly, do recommend me on any tutorial you want me to make. I will take in all the comments from you guys and I will make a tutorial video out. With that, I'll see you guys in the next stream or video. Bye bye!